All right, everybody, we are back for another challenge with the robots. This is challenge 22, at least. I don't know. There were a few that we didn't actually number, but uh, we've played a lot of boards against these robots. We're learning a lot. And uh, we're in their, you know, their territory. They they play better at imps, let's put it that way. We, we usually do much better at match points than they do, and they've had a few wins at imps. So uh, their record is a little bit better in this realm, but we should be able to come out ahead if we just play like our normal selves. Um, feeling pretty good after a couple of weeks, uh, a few weeks ago, just not feeling well health-wise. No excuses, but uh, I feel like we're on a, a, another level, especially after last week's win. So let's jump in here. We're playing imps this time against the robot. 10 boards. We're starting with one and two, and here we go, folks. This hand is all about order of operations. What do you do after partner opens one heart? We play two over one is game forcing. So we always are starting with some sort of game forcing bid when we have a fit in a major suit, when we have enough values. And here, uh, we can't bid two no trump. That's Jacoby two no trump, but that shows four cards in support of partner suit. We don't have that many cards, right? So that's always a nine card raise. That's off the menu. Just a normal two over one bid. Two clubs, which is, hey partner, I have 13 or more total points. Not showing or denying a fit, I'm just making a game forcing bid. We will always show our fit immediately afterwards, and that's just by bidding three hearts here. And we see partner bid four hearts, we're done, right? Our job is done, we're getting our side to game. And we see a pretty good game. This is gonna come down to nothing, right? They're leading the king of diamonds, so we, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna, it's basically gonna come down to what happens in the heart suit, right? So here, they're actually setting up a diamond trick for us and, more importantly, a spade pitch for us, right? Good stuff that's happening here. Uh, at this point, I'm going to play low. I'm going to win my king. And now take a look, folks. Um, <clears throat> this is a time where you might take a little safety play if you could get over to dummy and just lead a heart towards the eight or the nine, right? Uh, and, and now you're covering maybe some bad breaks in the West player's hand. However, here, um, I don't know, I guess we could still do that. Right? We still have this spade stopper that's over in dummy, and we can always get over there to cash that queen of diamonds. So, uh, you know, this is interesting. We're going to have to rough something in, um, well, I don't know. Let's just stop. Let's stop for a second. I'm going to think more than talk. Yeah, so here, I, I think our, our best line uh, just with with things even going badly for us is just to cash the ace king of hearts uh i'm going to play a spade to the ace first and now i'm going to play a heart i'm maybe i see an honor here they're usually good about splitting when they have this situation so now i'm going to draw two rounds of trump and if they break evenly and not, nothing bad has happened right i've got gotten my two rounds out i knew i was going to have one loser if they don't break evenly i mean it's not that terrible either and as i said the robot will usually split honors there so if they had like queen jack fourth we would have probably seen that card and maybe been able to prepare for something later but here now we just pitch away our spade and now we rough our spade, right? So now we didn't need clubs to break evenly and find an entry back to this dummy. We just needed to see Trump's break relatively evenly and be prepared to rough a losing spade, right? Now we don't have to take any spade finesse. We want to avoid finesses at all costs. And we were able to do that on this hand. And there we go, guys. Plus 420 is not too bad. And here, let's jump over and take a look at that result, all right? Auction, always the same, right? Game force, show your fit right afterwards. And then the play just comes down to, okay, if they're going to set up our queen for us, right? And don't, don't confuse this. When you see king ace in a real game, you would expect that to be a doubleton. Uh, however, the robot plays king from ace king. So here, this was likely not a doubleton. So it was safe at some point to play that queen of diamonds. Uh, but now it's just about, okay, um, I probably could have played the jack of spades there. Just take a free finesse anyway, knowing the outcome of this. I was just hoping they might hop with the queen in this spot as well, which I see them do pretty frequently. Now it's just about, okay, let's get rid of a spade, right? We don't want to take a finesse. We just want to get rid of it. And we do that by drawing a couple rounds of trump. So now if they are roughing the queen of diamonds or roughing it with a natural winner, and we still get to get rid of the spade. So here it's just about, okay, we can't draw all the trump. 
right? We don't want to. It's a winner for them anyway. But we can't draw all the Trump until we get this rough out of the way. And here it is. Once that happens, game over. All right, plus 420. We'll take that. Nice. All right, let's see this next one. It's our no Trump openers, right? And that was last Wednesday's class, guys. If you missed it, check it out at bridgelesson.com. That is one no Trump auctions. How do we deal with these when our side opens or overcalls a natural no Trump? Here, it doesn't get much better. Totally flat. Uh, the robots play Capaletti. Two clubs is, hey, I have a single suit. And two diamonds by righty just says, what's that suit? Um, you might think of doubling here to show a uh, lead direction preference. But this also shows length, right? So we only have four of that suit. We're not going to get in there with that bid. And we know we're going to see them show their suit now. So they had some sort of hand with spades. Do not be tempted to bid when you've already opened one no Trump. Partner knows you've opened one no Trump, right? So here, trust that they know what to do when you've shown your hand in such a specific way. And here, let's let's do a little bit of counting, right? We have 16 high card points. How many does dummy have? That's nine. All right, so nine over here, 16 here. And what the heck did lefty do here? Well. They made a natural overcall after we opened one no Trump, which I would say is usually six cards, but it's also usually an opening hand. So let's just give them 12, All right? So that's 12, 28, 37. Guess what? Partner has very, very little over there. <laughs> they have not too much. Um, doesn't look like they have any entries. Maybe they have the queen of hearts, right? This could be a spot where we just get to take... Um, well, we take two hard tricks and then lead a low heart and maybe tap them out over here. That's what I'm going to do, at least. <laughs> As it turns out, they do not have the queen of hearts. And we're setting up winners for them. Mmm, that's brutal. Uh, now it is, is it worth leading a club? I don't know. That could be disastrous as well, considering we're leading away from the jack. Uh, the diamond is a suit we would definitely take some tricks in, but certainly don't want to be cashing a diamond when we have the ace, queen, jack over the king. But... Here, how many are they pitching over here to our left, right? If they have a six card spade suit, and if that is only, uh, they only have two hearts, right? Is that is that is that with us here? Our partner led low, so we know it's not a doubleton. So here, yeah, they're likely to have two hearts. If they have three, that's better for us. Now that's only one pitch that they're going to take. But if they also have six spades, now um, these pitches might really be meaningful for them. Hmm. And remember, if, we, if we're counting correctly, and they do have about 12 points, they could have more than that, though. But partner has at most three, right? Ugh. Brutal stuff. Uh, all right. We're going to be super passive and just lead a spade. And this is just because I don't want to break any other suit. <laughs> and I'm also hoping they have three hearts over here. Ah, it ended up being okay for us there. That's that third heart is nice. We like that. And now um, I don't really want to be on lead, so I'm going to pitch a diamond. I know they're pitching here, right? My ten of spades is a winner, right? So it's a loser on loser play for them. And you know it's the same situation here. Right? They would have done the same thing had I played this ten of spades. And now at least, um, well, now I think it's safe to lead a club. Yeah. And now we'll get a diamond through, and now they can just solve clubs on their own time. Yep. All right. Uh, we, we figured out the three points that partner had over there. It was the king of clubs. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if we do better by cashing the ace of diamonds. I think they might just be able to pitch a club on that one. Uh, let's take a look at the results screen, though. Yeah, so here at this point... When it goes heart to the king, I think we need to switch, actually. Yep, there it is. In fact, look at that. Switching to the ace of diamonds is, is crucial or just leading a club at this point. Right? And now we get the diamond through. Right? And then we get, to, we get to find that in partner's hand. So here, the ace of hearts was the disaster card because now they just get to unblock. And they have a nice entry over there. And that's just destined for plus one. So the good thing is... We're not playing match points. So this one, at worst, is like a lose one. So we like that when we're not playing uh, match points and these over tricks can matter. Uh, so we'll take that one, knowing that we might be losing an imp there if we could have defended slightly better in, in a couple of different ways. So here, we will start with this one tomorrow. What's your, gonna, what's your opening bid going to be here? 
come back tomorrow on Tuesday and find out what we do with this end.